Okay, what I'm about to say may offend a lot of you and a lot of your egos, but it is what it is It must be said. The white man's God is the black man's devil. The black man's God is the white man's devil. So what that's saying is that if the white man's God is the black man's devil, then the white man's devil is the black man's God. And if the black man's God is the white man's devil, then that means that the white man's God is the black man's devil. Try and keep up. The white man's God is the black man's devil. The white man's devil is the black man's God. The black man's God is the white man's devil. The black man's devil is the white man's God. So let it marinate for a minute. Let it marinate. Now, I know that may sound disturbing to a lot of you. But, it is what it is, and this is something that must be said because a lot of us are under this false notion that it's all one and the same and that there's no difference. Some don't care to know the difference. But I'm going to point it out to you. See, the God of the white man's Bible is the black man's devil. The white man's concept of God is no good for the black man. How could the slave and the master worship the same God as Dr. John Henry Clark pointed out? If the slave and the master are both praying to the same God whose prayers are being answered, look around you. The same people that were enslaving, they prayed to God. Those that were enslaved prayed to the same God. And if you look around you now, you'll see that those that were enslaving are still enslaving, and those that were enslaved are still enslaved. So, whose God is this? Whose prayers are being answered by this God, by this white man's God? This white man's mystery God. That black people ignorantly worship in blind faith. But they know not what they do. But their lack of knowledge to bring about their destruction. Thus it already has. Look around you. Look at the current state of so-called black people. Now... With that being said, some may say, how could that be? How could the white man's God be the black man's devil? Or how could the black man's God be the white man's devil? Well, we don't all come from the same creator. We don't all have the same source of creation. This is something that we have to first come to grips with and realize. See, there isn't only one creator. There are many. As far as you know, it takes two to make one. Two parents come together to make one child. It took two creators to make you. It took your two parents to come together and create you. One creator plus another creator equals the child of the creators. But people want you to think that there's only one because they want you to, de to devote to their creator. They want you to give your energy. They want you to worship their creator. It's foolish. And you see why we're in the state that we're in. Because you're worshiping the God of your oppressors. 
This is ancestral sacrilege. This is going against your ancestors, your ancestors that opposed foreign gods, that opposed the gods of the invaders, that refused to worship the deities of the invaders. Now, again, they tell you it's only one because they want you to give your energy, all of your energy to their creator, which their creator is your destroyer. The same jealous, vengeful, wrathful creator that violates all of its commandments. That's what they want you to worship. That's what they want you to give your energy to. See, this explains why there's so many religious hypocrites. Because the God of the religious book is a creator. You create commandments that you break all of them. Thou shalt not kill, you've killed. Thou shalt not steal. Taking land from someone else to try and give it to someone else. Adultery. Was Mary not Joseph's wife? I mean, it goes on and on and on. But again, this explains why there's so many religious hypocrites running around as well. Now, they say that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. <laughs> Sounds like the actions of the white man's God. Sounds like the actions of the white man in the name of their God. I.e. Crusades. Missionaries. Jihads. Holy wars. All wars in the name of a God. While stealing, killing, and destroying people, culture, civilizations, ways of life, all destroyed. To do what? Claim a land that belonged to someone else will steal this land from them, will kill them to steal this land, and will destroy any evidence that this land ever belonged to them? Hmm. But they say the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Now, who is the devil again? See, again, we're going into this white man's Bible and this white man's God concept. This takes you back to the white man's God being the black man's devil. Keep up with me now. Okay, so... These people are also killing, stealing, and destroying the earth. Everything that they do encompasses theft, murder, and destruction. All in the name of their God. Is this a righteous God or is this a wicked God? What does it sound like to you? Now, ask this question as well. Who did the devil kill in the Bible? Who did the devil steal from? What did the devil destroy? Think about that. What did the devil in this white man's Bible steal, kill, or destroy? What did the God in this white man's Bible steal, kill, and destroy? Who's doing the stealing? Who's doing the killing? Who's doing the destroying? It's kind of obvious when you pay attention. Remove emotion and apply logic. It's easy to see. And we mimic this behavior. We reflect this behavior. And thus you see the current state of the world around you. Seeing how these religious books and doctrines are what causes or motivates the actions of most individuals. They do it in the name of either these religious books or the gods of these religious books. Still kill and destroy. Are any of these things done in the name of the devil? In the name of the devil's religious books? Are atheists having jihads and holy wars? Stealing, killing, and destroying for land? Mm, think not. 
Now, the Garden of Eden was a plantation. Adam and Eve were slaves, and Lucifer was a former slave that became free. He was a former slave turned revolutionary trying to free the other slaves from their lord and master, their oppressive lord and master that didn't want them to obtain knowledge, that didn't want them to be free but wanted them to be confined to his plantation. Thus, eating from the tree of knowledge was forbidden. For slaves to obtain knowledge was forbidden. So the devil was a revolutionary trying to get the other slaves to want to be free kind of like Harriet Tubman saying that she freed thousands of slaves and would have freed more but the issue was that most of the people didn't know that they were slaves or didn't realize that they were slaves this is still a problem that we face today this book is a good slave manual a very good slave manual why is everything evil depicted as black why is everything righteous depicted as white? White gods, white angels, black demons, black devils. Why is this? Give them black, give them back their God. Give them back their concepts of God. Give them back their devil. Give them back their concepts of the devil. You do not need them. Most of you have a Hollywood perception and a religious perception of what God and devil and good and evil is anyway. And these are all programs. Programs designed to create fear, confusion, and false devotion. And the reason why I say give your oppressors back their God concepts and their God and their devil concepts and their devil is because melanated people, melanites, those of us who are melanin dominant, your creation, your existence, predates any of their concepts of a god or a devil and far surpasses any ideologies that they have of what good and evil, righteous and wicked is. Your following Johnny Come Lately, the newest people on the planet, the new kids on the block, you're letting them tell you what divinity is what the source of creation is what higher power is you're letting them define what is divine but yet your lineage your ancestry predates their existence and the existence of any concepts or perceptions that they have of what God or devil may be but when it comes to the white man's Bible and the white man's God your black ass is the devil those devils and demons that that book is speaking upon is speaking upon you and your ancestors this is a book used to divide and conquer and to turn families against families to make you abandon your culture your roots your heritage. So anything that is non-Christian, non-Roman Christian, non-Catholic, non-mainstream organized religions, whether it be Judaism, Islam, or Christianity, is considered pagan, heathen, ethnic. See, these are all synonymous. See, when you look up pagan, You'll see it refers you to heathen. You look up heathen, it'll take you to ethnic. And then you'll see the ethnic is synonymous with pagan, which is synonymous with heathen, which is synonymous with Berber, Pharisee, Saracen, and any other cultures or any other people of African ancestry or of African descent or of indigenous ancestry or of indigenous descent. Anyone outside of the jurisdiction of Rome, which were living in New Rome, is considered a pagan or heathen. 
This term isn't that old. It's a German word. These words are maybe only mm, six, seven hundred years old, possibly, at most. So we need to start thinking about these things. The word God is a German word. You're dealing with German words, Roman words, Greek words. The word Savior, Satar, Greek word. It's a Greek concept. Alexander the Great labeling himself as the first. Then you have Ptolemy following after. Or Serapis Christos. The whole concept of gods or the Gothic. These are the people that illuminated those that were up in Scandinavia, the Norsemen, Vikings, or those from the upper, colder regions. The Catholic. They model after the cat-like people. The people of Kim. See, these people have all stolen your culture, perverted your culture, we comprised it after they culturally appropriated what was your culture and then sold it back to you and they have you more devoted to the lie than they are. They don't even believe this nonsense. But they know as long as the slaves believe it, it's beneficial. So they'll pretend. They'll talk and act as if they do, but they really don't. But, again, in closing, just so you realize and get more clarity that that white man's Bible and the white man's God is not for black people. The white man's God is the black man's devil. This book was designed to keep you a faithful slave, an obedient slave. Obey your Lord and master. But yet they tell you that white means pure. Righteousness of God. Obey your white Lord and Master, your God. I don't think people realize how these things tied in together. I don't think people know who King James was, what his Bible comprised of, and that King James was um involved in the transatlantic slave trade or involved in slave trading and Jamestown, Virginia was settled. And named after him under his direction and command. It's convenient we have a book, a manual to take with you to enslave the people of these places that you go to. And if you have to, rewrite it, revamp it like they did the Parnari Indians and try and convince them that their ancestors killed Christ. To try and teach them what the sin is, to try and teach them what it is to repent. Or redemption or to make these people feel grief they're not the first that it was done to and they're not the last give them back their tools give your oppressors back their tools you don't need them these are tools of domination and as long as you use these tools you're enabling them you're enabling their domination over you So with that being said, don't take offense, take heed, hold this family, rise and be greater.